Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. So, I got my buddy Brad here. He's new to town and uh, he wanted to go spear fishing. So, I convinced him to buy a pole spear and I went out with my spear gun and, uh, well, took him to some of my reef spots that we can get to by kayak because the boat's currently out of commission. Uh, yeah, boat life is fun. Anyway, uh, had a blast. Uh, got some fish, got some good ones. Uh, well, one really, really good one. And then Brad got a couple of his first fish with the pole spear, so yeah. he was happy, definitely addicted now. So um, <laughs> we both just need to, you know, continuously get better. But it's uh, it's a good time. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Always appreciate it. Um, hit the like button, drop a comment, and uh, yeah, hope you guys can get out there and get some fish too. Thanks, guys. So the first part we started at uh, was a little bit murky and there were several nurse sharks around that decided to get a little close, follow us, and kind of see what we were doing, making us a little uncomfortable at times. That nurse shark uh -huh. just came and swam about two feet underneath me, directly underneath me. I think that ended us too. And I, I crossed that off that way. Yeah, there was one that came. I was able to look at the fish and he came right up underneath me. It was used to feet of lid, which is not good for us. Hey, you can load up as much as you want and just get in there and get them. Uh huh. Get close. Get fish ended up going underneath the coral head and there's a few big sea urchins there so I didn't really go looking for him too hard after that. Little by little you can see his progression and I mean if anyone's tried a pole spear you know it's a lot different and a little more difficult than just a spear gun. So he's learning. I forget the name of these fish, but they're kind of like a giant puffer fish. It's either like a squirrel fish or a, not a porcupine fish, but something. I can never remember, remember the name of it, but we definitely saw a few of them. They're just really big. They look like they're grouper, and then you get closer and you realize they're not. In this situation, I uh, saw a snapper. I went and I took the shot, and he ended up shaking off the spear. Not sure how, but he got off. And this one did the same thing. I hit him and he shook off. Stone to that one though. You'd hear Brad in the background cheering me on. Just don't shoot a rock. Figured I would give it a shot and see how I did at uh, pole spear, spear fishing. And um, yep, it is definitely a little bit harder than 
some of the experts make it look. It took me a couple tries, but I got a couple. After that, I gave him back his pole spear and <laughs> went to my spear gun, which I definitely prefer. Oh, there we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> No, he's a grunt. He's good. No size. Okay. Uh huh. That was a great shot. All right, so go on the other side. All right, so try to put that barb down. No, no, on the back side, like this. Yep. Push. There you go. Oh no, it came out. All right, hold the spear. Ugh. All right, toss him in the cooler. trying to track down that mangrove snapper but he just kept swimming and never stopped. Sometimes the one you want comes into focus, and then other times they stay just outside your range. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Another stud. He comes in at just under 19. Got him with a nice kill shot through the back, stoned him. And of course, my camera wasn't rolling because my battery died, but dang. That's a nice one. That's what we're looking for.